Hello everyone, it's Roxy, and today I'm doing another video where I will talk over some clips. Uh, this time it's mostly going to be about positioning and what you should do to like defend or attack. So it's an early game right now. We are dying. My uh, delirium, so like uh, Vinny is dead. My I fucked up armor and everything, so my double is dead, and I'm still playing going back. Uh, I should have not, since it's only a 1v3 early game, I should have stayed behind turret and depush the creep while playing safe by killing myself here, stupidly. I got ganked in a second and uh, obviously I end up uh, dying and they got the wipe, meaning a lot of push power. On that one, so we are attacking the turret. So when you attack the turret, it's really important to have someone uh, looking at the jungle, meaning that you need someone up top that is uh, basically uh, controlling the area and making sure no one come to above or the side to like gank you. Uh, it's really important because you allow your team to push like nicely while making sure no one uh, go from behind. So I'm up top, I'm taking the grip and I'm making sure the Yuri doesn't show up. Second thing that happened during that click is that uh, Yuri kind of fucked up and he got thrown. We couldn't follow because I didn't snare him or like we didn't tongue him immediately. If some like uh, stun would have happened, he would have died and it would have been bad for him. But the case here that uh, he didn't die and we didn't follow because if we started to follow him, we'd have stopped the push. It was better to just go back at the turret, push for some bit and then back up. Uh, don't overextend on the push. Like you saw uh, when I left, Ulip was coming. He could have maybe like stunned me near the turret and I would have died uh, stupidly. Alright, on that one, so uh, we just got uh, killed, me and uh, Rocco. So there's only Jimmy to defend. Uh, the beginning is doing kind of well, had a decent work since he didn't die, but right now, exactly now, he should have backed after using both his skills, get HP back, and uh, dash again and uh, kill everything. Because if you realize that he spent at least four seconds just waiting, he could have easily backed get HP, dash again, and depush the creep while surviving. The fact he died meant that the turret was down and uh, they got the solo and everything. It was just better in that case to uh, back up because you could have seen the Ayla coming from the minimap or just knowing that people come back when someone is low near turret. All right, next clip. Alright, so that one is different clip, so we are on the attack right now, and I think both of my allies are going to die like really soon. So yeah, one, and... And okay, so I see that we're in bad position, I rather just teleport back because they can sandwich me and corner me. So now it's a 1v3. I need to depush, so I'm not going to go uh, in the middle of the map because I will get easily like stunned. So right now I'm staying back. I did well, if I had attacked, the reef would have blocked me, the snipe, the air strike, everything, I would have probably died. Even though it's mid game and I have a lot of sustain, they have more kills than solo. I'm still kind of stupid because it's me and I'm going uh, to the farm from behind. Uh, it could have worked, I uh, just miscalculated uh, when Neon would come. Uh, so in that clip, let's play it again. I'm defending, I, um, I'm defending, na na na, I wait. Then finally, I decide to attack because they used a strike and rift. I go on the bottom, I body block the Swiggins, hoping for Leon to show up a bit early. I miscalculate the time, but in result, I didn't die, they didn't got the push, and everything good. If I hadn't TP, if I hadn't uh, play safer, uh, I would have most likely died, and they would have got the push. Leon would have most likely died also in 1v3 stupidly, and it would have probably been game. So always remember that 1v3, if you want to win, just play safe. Like, there's no point rushing. Right, and this is my last clip. It's a longer one, so I'm not gonna play twice. Uh, I believe that if you're still listening to me right now, is that you care, so I'm gonna go for it. So it's a full gameplay thing. Uh, I'm kind of fed, 5-2. I can easily go 1v2 because he just wasted Dino and I know I have a shit ton of regen. I take the creep on my way, so I can survive. Leon used tank, he has almost no DPS now compared to me because I just know my scoop, so I got him. Dino will kill me, I back up. Uh, I'm sandwiched between a double and a thing, so I'm going over there. I use my hammer to get speed and heal. I TP because I'm fucked right now. I honestly have no escape. Like I said, always take the jump pad, TP, it's really fast. I'm really back in base. 
So we got the push up top, bottom. I survived, I got a kill. So now I can just play safer. I probably need the solar, yeah, 135. So probably gonna buy some uh, damage or sustain. Uh, I go back on the field. I can check on the minimap. We have a Leon and a Slow Wolf, by the way, IIX. Uh, they are the bottom left, so they're in trouble. My idea is that if I can finish the turret quick enough, uh, it's good except that it was before the patch and I didn't realize it was so so high on HP. But it's fine, I'm just keeping the push, pressure top, no need to go bottom, because I honestly cannot do shit more right now, I need my teammates. Uh, we got him. It could be lag, because it was kind of far, but my second slash of AA has a higher range, so it's probably the case. Since we got a kill, we can go base. Like, if it's a 2v2, I usually go base even though it's not, but all right. So he fucked up, I went above him and I can hit him. I'm not gonna follow because if I follow like Slow Wolf did, uh, we stop the push, especially on base. It's in my opinion better to just kill the creep and attack the base right now. So you leap his back, but I can easily like hammer down, counter, try to body block. Saying I'm gonna fail the body block. Yeah, I'm failing the body block. It's fine. I keep the pressure on, Slow Wolf is back, meaning that he got the Leon with Froggy and I got the push. Uh, I can f make my ammo bands back from the base to the creep. Uh, two things happen when I do that. First of all, the creep take more damage, which is good for everyone because it destroyed the creep, and uh, I can heal while attacking the base. Uh, I have a lot of sustain, eh? It's scoop, so I'm just pushing. I'm a lot. I'm too low because double has shit ton of DPS, so I can take just the HP. Both Rogi and uh, Slow Wolf went uh, on the other side, which is a good thing. Uh, congrats to you. So when they have too much of a defense on the base, meaning they have a uh, Ted, a Dupple, a Gno, and or Lonnie Star, and you just cannot pass through that barrier of CC, uh, just go above, go around, uh, they're gonna lose position, and either you end up dying and I can attack base, or they die and we win. Uh, but the idea is to make them get out of position, even though if backing is the solution. Sometimes you need to like back up uh, from like five meters or five like centuries if you want to measure that you can tell not and not five centuries away, and uh, they will have to move because if not, I will just hammer down the base infinitely. So they need to move, and when they move, you can attack. All right. Uh, eight minutes. I think it's a decent time for a uh, low scan of games on uh, Thursday. I hope you liked it. I really hope my voice is good because I will not. It will piss me off to record again. Uh, tell me what. Uh, tell me what you think. If you like it, put a like. And I see you all on uh, Sunday for a full game or next week. Bye.